how does one work with the primary diaphragms without a second person? So just for context, most of us know of the diaphragm as the one that is the respiratory diaphragm that goes down as we breathe in, the diaphragm goes down as we exhale, it comes back up and it lets our lungs properly inflate and ex exhale. There are also these other diaphragms in osteopathic traditions that go from the head down to the feet, throat, heart, solar plexus, uh, belly, pelvis, feet, top of the head. These diaphragms in our work and in osteopathic traditions hold memory. They hold old traumas. They hold old survival stresses. They hold tension patterns from that accident, from being hit, um, from being born preemie and being in fear, all these things. So originally this work was, was done one-on-one one -on -one where a practitioner puts their hands on these diaphragms. It's very subtle work. There's no manipulation. It's not massage. It's not Reiki. It's putting the intention into that space and essentially being like the parent that we never got, just holding, waiting, talking in a, in a way telepathically to these areas of just, I'm here. Yes, there was a lot of stress. Less, yes, there was a lot of trauma. And we're just going to be here. When we work with these in person, there can be all sorts of good stuff come up. There can be old pain cycles, emotions, memories, flow starts to come in. You'll start to feel a pulse in areas. You'll start to see the breath come into the whole body. So the whole body is breathing. Traditionally, like I said, this is done one-on-one -on -one with a practitioner. In Smart Body, Smart Mind, there are a host of lessons working with the diaphragms, working with an area around the heart called the mediastinum, working with the joints of the body because the joints are like little tiny diaphragms, every little joint in our body. We work with the connection from the gut to the brain through the vagus nerve. We work with the layers of the body, the fascia, the bone, the muscle, the skin. You work with it through hearing my instruction to guide into your body. So you're using intention and visualization. If you can, I'll encourage people to touch those areas. And then through my guidance, through audio, you do the work yourself. And the diaphragm lessons are probably some of the most powerful ones that I would say really separates what is in Smart Body, Smart Mind from other somatic courses where they're not teaching that level. Now, the way that I teach it is from my Feldenkrais training. So I'm also a Feldenkrais practitioner, which is a very high level of teaching people with, with words, movement, developmental movement patterns, working with the entire skeleton, the muscles, the eyes, the head, the carriage of the body, rolling, standing, squatting. So my training is in that. And so what I've done is I've taken that skill and I've transferred it to the work of Peter Levine and Kathy Kane. And the diaphragm's work is also within the somatic experiencing practice at advanced levels. So it was very clear to me that it just was not conducive for people to have to find a practitioner, which gets very expensive when you need to work with these diaphragms for some people years and years and years. I've been doing this work for a long time, for 15 plus years at this level, and I'm still working on old, old, old injuries from my earlier days of functional freeze. And I will often sit down at night or in bed and I'll work with my own diaphragms to ensure they are open and flowing. And of course, sitting at this computer, there's a lot of rigidity being in one spot. So I hope that answers that question. Um, they really are beautiful things to work with when you can do on your own because our intention as one of my teachers says, intention is a powerful instrument.